Uh-huh. Your wife's not. Do I want one? <laughs> no, but your daughter does. Where is she? Well, she's at school where she's supposed to be. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well, at least you'll have a little surprise waiting for her when she gets home from school. There you go, little guy. There you go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, I, he wants me to tell you that he really thinks he's going to like it around here. Why do you do this? Because I know how much Robin wants a dog of her own. Not every kid does. I know, but you shouldn't spoil her like this. Yeah, I know. So, uh, you think she'll like him? Yeah, huh? she will. Good. But you shouldn't spoil her. Ah, oh, come on, Anna. What are Godfathers for? They are to guide and they are to protect and they are to spoil. I like that. I really do. I like that. Heaven sent you here today. Yes, so. You're the one who looks like she needs a godfather today. What's up? I, uh, I don't really want to talk about all my domestic problems. No, no, no. no. Come on, come on. Tell me. Won't go any further than me, I promise. I know that is. Just like I kind of feel a bit disloyal. And a bit troubled, too, huh? Yeah. I, I want to be sure that I'm not just imagining things. Well, what? Well, do you've been kind of wound up and preoccupied for days now. Any idea why? Oh, he says that it's something to do with the club. <laughs> well, take the man at his word. <laughs> it sounds perfectly reasonable to me. I just have this feeling that he's keeping oh, something from me. Anna, a feeling is not a fact. And you should know that better than any woman I've ever met. Well, yeah, I do. Look, we've been married a few months now, but we seem to have gotten to this pattern that he's not as open with me as I am with him. Oh, wait a second. I mean, there are some times when a guy just can't open up, and I... I say that for most of us. What about sharing? I just want to share things. Well, I, I, I'm sure he feels the same way about it, believe me. But... The, I mean, sometimes it's possible, and other times it's not possible, especially when it comes to business and he thinks he should handle it. Oh, my God, Duke is... He's not the kind of guy who complains. I wouldn't care if he complained if he just talked to me. He plays everything right here close to his vest, right? He always has, always will. But you, on the other hand... Well, you know, oh, I just flatter my feelings all over town. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm not saying that. All I'm trying to tell you is that don't try and change him, Okay. You two are complete opposites in a lot of ways. That's probably why you get along so well together. I <sighs> just accept it. Yeah, yeah, you really sound convinced about that. <clears throat> because I'm scared. Certainly not a duke. No, not a duke. Of course not. Well, then maybe uh, you're into your own pattern. What do you mean? Take Duke at his word, huh? Of course I'm right. Now, didn't I tell you I would find you a happy home? Of course I did. Yes, indeed. <laughs> hey, I'm a great big hug for the newest member of the family. Huh? What's his name? That's Aloysius P. Dog. That's He's Irish. Terrible. Jimmy. Yeah, I know. I know. But he's Irish. With a cute tail too. Love his droopy ears. Nobody breaks in and nobody but Godzilla breaks out. Anybody home, Fred? We're not open. Uh, hello. <clears throat> oh, Mrs. Labor. Hi. Is the boss here? I wonder whether he got back early. Uh, no, he called me this morning from the airport and told me that he wouldn't be back till later. How much later? Well, he didn't say. Hmm. Oh, a nuisance. Well, we need the equipment badly. Equipment? Yeah, the sound equipment. I mean, with Terry back and all, you know, our equipment doesn't work too well. That's the reason he went to New York? Uh, can I get you anything? He went to New York to get some sound equipment? Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Well, well what about the food and wine distributor? Oh, well, what about him? Well, the way he's raising the prices and everything. Well, I mean, there's no problem there. He's keeping things kind of very steady. That's why we gave him the business. 
And the distributor's in New York, right? Well, yeah, as far as I know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You, you can ask Duke. Can I ask you something? Yes, can I get you anything? No, thank you. I mean, we have some mineral water, we have uh, coffee, we have no, soda, wait, we have... No, wait, is Duke in some kind of trouble? Uh, listen, I was just about to make myself some tea. Would you like some? Is everything all right here? Yeah, it couldn't be better. The business and everything? It's picking up every day. I don't even know how we can handle it all. Is that right? Mrs. Lambert, there's nothing for you to worry about. Let me get you some tea. Hold it. Procedure. He said, hold it. He's clean. Mr. Jerome isn't going to be too happy to see you unless you got some good news for him. What is he? Is the job done? Don't you ever call my home again. Since when do you give me orders? I told you I'll take care of it. I'm going to do it my way and I want you to listen. To what? More excuses. You're wasting my time. You bully boys don't try me one bit. You made the trip. You must think it's important. Sit down. I gave you my word I'd take care of Carlos. I'm gonna keep it. I don't have to kill him to come out of your way for good. I want him dead. I will put the fear of God in him. I will teach him a lesson. He won't forget. He won't bother you anymore. I'm not going to kill the man. I'm not killing anyone. Not for you. Not for anybody else. What do you think I am? You think I'm running some sort of scout troop here? I give an order. When I do, it must be obeyed. If it isn't, if you defy me, I lose face. I'm not defying you. I'm merely offering another solution, a compromise. In my world, there is no such thing as compromise. All right. Now you've had your say. I'll have mine for the last time. You have till the end of the week to make good on your promise. You'll kill Carruthers or else. Or else what? Don't force me to answer that, Duke. Believe me, you don't want to know.